Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about why Rakesh Roshan's Krish is one of the best superhero movies till date. So join me in this phenomenal journey. We start the movie by showing Krishna's talents and showing how special he is and how different he is compared to others. We see him perform intellectual miracles and now his grandmother is shocked at this. She takes Krishna away from society as she feared Krishna would share his late father's fate. Later we learn his father was dead as he went abroad and so his grandma didn't want to lose him too as he inherited his father's powers. She denied his permission to go to Singapore as she couldn't bear to lose him. This causes emotional conflict. Absolutely brilliant. Hrithik Roshan is absolutely phenomenal and is perfect as Krish. He portrays Krishna's innocence yet also his struggles and insecurities perfectly well. His eyes indicate his emotions and Hrithi Groshan is a very underrated actor and should be in more movies. Priyanka Chopra at first wasn't very good acting wise but as the film progressed we understood her feelings and her intentions through Priyanka's great acting. Priya lies to Krishna uh, and gets him to Singapore only for her benefit and to save her job. She kept on telling herself and her friend that it's also Krishna's benefit as he'll be famous. Priya and her friend wanted Krishna only for his feats and miracles but not for his humanity. Not once thinking about how this would affect Krishna's feelings and his emotional sentiments. Priya learns from this and grows as a character caring for Krishna and his inner humanity. Priya eventually figures out Krishna is Krish and thinks of sending the tape to her boss in no time, not thinking about Krishna's feelings. And later Priya understands him and his reason to cover his identity. And now, let's talk about the antagonist, or the villain, who is played by Nasiruddin Shah. The villain, Dr. Siddhant Arya, makes his terrifying presence felt through her throughout the movie. His scary yet menacing demeanor was very well played. The only core flaw with the villain is that his goal is unjustified and feels sort of one-dimensional. But the legendary Nasiruddin Shah still makes him feel scary and intimidating. Hrithik's portrayal of Rohit is phenomenally mind-boggling as Krishna and Rohit feel like completely two different people. And uh, Hrithik trained for both their postures and body languages which clearly deserves an applause. By the way, this movie got a friggin' 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And you know what? The critics are right. It's that damn good. So I would give this movie a mind-boggling 4.5 out of 5. Yeah, so that's the video guys and you must have heard of this a lot. So, please like this video and share it too. Also, subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified.